Hello friends, welcome back to the Node-RED tutorial series. Till now I have covered installation of Node-RED, getting data directly from the PLC IO card and then sending this data to the AWS cloud using MQTT or using OPC UA to any third party devices. But all those data what we were dealing were the real time data. Now let's see how we can historize the data into different databases like MS SQL, MongoDB and AWS RDS Postgres SQL. So as you can see here, we are getting the live data from the uh, Wago IO card. So how we can configure them into the databases. So for that, what I'm doing is uh, first I'm creating a global variable. So if you can see, I'm passing the message payload of AI var, which is I'm reading it from the AI card and getting it setting it into the ai1 underscore var which is a global variable now i will use this global variable to send all this data into the different databases so first i'm going to configure it for the uh, ms sql so for that first i'm setting it up the global variable and let's see whether i'm able to get the value or not so first the global variable has to be con configured and I'm using show value to see whether the values are coming or not. So let me inject and we have the value here. So we will utilize the same nodes to configure and send the data into the different databases. So let me configure it for the MS SQL. So we can install in the manage palette the MS SQL library. So I'm using uh, country MSQL so you can search and it can be found in the palette manager so we can install this particular library and we can then configure it okay so let's drag and drop it into the flow sheet and then when we double click on that it will open and we need to provide the connection details so MSSQL right now is running on one of my uh, laptop and it is as a local server it is local database it is running okay so this is the first category where i'm running it as a local database so here we need to provide the ip address of the server and then the instance name then username and password and the database detail so once we configure that then we can write the query so as we need to insert the insert the data into the database so we can connected and then we can write the query what we need to do so if you need to read it then we can use select but as i'm using it here to insert the data into the database so i will be using the query called insert so insert into the database name which is which will come under the uh, big bracket so plc dot dbo again into the bracket it will also go to the bracket so query manager remains same how exactly we write in any of the script so here also we have to write in the same manner and the plc the table name so let me show you how exactly it is configured into the sql management server so let me open it and then let me drag it here so if you see here uh, right now uh, we are under the plc database and the the table name is plc data okay so if you see let me show you here so it has the columns so the columns which i have configured are single name and the values so these are the two columns in which the data will come and that is what we need to write in the query also so after the table name we have to write provide the column name so which will be in the small bracket so signal name comma value and then we need to pass the the values so values means what for the signal name what is the signal name which we are going to use and value how what is the live value what which we need to actually uh, put into the database so values and then we need to uh, write the tag name so signal name so i'm putting here as a ai1 
and then uh, for the getting the values the live values we need to provide it in a little different format so triple curly braces and msg dot payload okay so this is what is the query i have written so once it is done so let me give okay let me format it into the uh, big so it will be good but anyhow it will not have any impact but just to format it i'm putting it here so once we are done with the query and then we can deploy the flow and then we can inject so once we inject the uh, the value then uh, we can see in the database that this value will get updated so let's go and run the query so here if you see right now i'm getting ai1 as zero and ai1 both two times i've injected so it is coming zero okay so i think then let's check out the query so if in the query i think it was an issue so i have just updated the query and then uh, let's execute here the thing so we are now getting the live data so in this way we can insert the data into the ms sql databases so i will change the value here and then again we will inject and then we can see again into the database that the values is getting changed so this is the way to configure for the ms sql part so the next uh, one which i'm going to talk here about is the mongodb how we can utilize it into the mongodb part so again for the mongodb we need to configure and uh, get the palette first so install the library and then utilize that library into so let's go to the manage palette and if you type here uh, mongodb then we will get node red mongodb the first one which i have utilized and install it and then i'm running the mongodb instance into the ubuntu core uh, which is an iot uh, os uh, has which i'm utilizing it into the raspberry pi so this is running into the raspberry pi and this is the mongodb instance configured into the raspberry pi into the ubuntu core now uh, this we can connect and we can push the data into this particular database so if you see right now i'm connected so here the structure which i am utilizing is uh, my database name is uh, raj and uh, the collection name is rajdb so let's uh, bring the node of the mongodb and then we will configure this mongodb so where we need to provide a server detail so in the server detail uh, if you go to the edit mode we can configure it the ip address and the uh, database name and the operation we can put uh, what we want to do so insert because we need to put the data into the database and then the collection so collection was as i shown that it was large db so that collection name we have to provide it here okay so once this configuration is done so this is where we need to configure the host name port number and the database based on that the server detail will get formed and then the collection db will come which we need to fill so once this configurations are done then uh, we can again we can deploy the uh, flow so uh, if you can see here we have the raj as a database and raj db as a collection okay so i'm going to utilize this and when we go and uh, click on the done then the details will be get created into the node and then when so uh, we can uh, connect uh, the flow and then we can deploy the flow so once we deploy and when we inject so if you see right now it is showing you as a connected and when we have injected it is successfully injected then we can go back to the database and when we can search uh, then we can find that the data has been put but it is coming just it was coming just with the id and the payload okay so we don't know which tag it is configured and all those things must is didn't came so in order to get the tag and value both so we need to what we need to do is we need to configure the function and create a json format so that all should come in a correct format otherwise if you connect directly it will come only with the id which will get auto generated and then the value okay so uh, this is the function which i'm connecting in between uh, the uh, timestamp uh, inject node and the 
connection db and then we i'm writing here the function which will be converting the data into the json format so message dot payload then we i will be providing the tag so tag which is going to be get populated there so i'm giving the various tag and then the tag name so tag name will be ai1 i'm giving as we are utilizing ai1 and then comma and then the value and the value will be we will be reading it from the global variable okay so the global variable which we have defined so in order to get that we can write the query as global dot get and then inside the small bracket we can put uh, the variable name so ai1 underscore varg okay so this detail is put and then end with the semicolon and complete it and deploy the flow so once we deploy the flow and then when we inject again so once we inject the message formation has been done and when we see into the database it will come with the full detail so with it will come with ai1 so let me refresh it here so once we refresh it will fetch and then if you see uh, we, let me show you so i will go to the so all the tags which i'm seeing here are coming with ai the tag name and the value okay so earlier it was only coming with id and now it is coming with ai and the values okay so the third database is the postgresql which is running on the aws so let's first see how we can create the database into the aws so we can go to the rds and we can go into the database and then uh, we can click on create database so we have multiple places where we can create then we can utilize the standard create or easy create and then we can select the uh, postgresql so we will use three tier uh, because i don't want to spend money on this and then we can provide the db instance identifier okay so this uh, will be a name which we can utilize uh, for the instance part uh, credential setting we need to provide the master password so uh, there will be a master password which we will utilize it to connect back uh, with this postgresql from any other uh, client now the another setting which we need to do is so these are okay we can leave it as it is the storage part we can enable auto scaling or we can disable itself so that is uh, also okay so i will disable it and then here list all things are okay yeah this public access we need to provide yes so that we can be able to connect it from the outside so we can choose existing policies what security groups additional configuration is the port number which we can configure it here so if we want to change we can change it the database authentication option is password authentication and that all will be there so this is all configuration we can do and additional configuration yeah so if we need to initialize uh, with a database name so we can provide here the database name itself so it will initialize with that particular database name so let me provide here the database name as uh, plcdb so plcdb is given as an initial database name and uh, let me so other configuration okay so i will just change as i have given the database name as plcdb so i will change the instance identifier name to a different one so so let me change the name of the db instance identifiers to postgres plc uh rest uh all the configurations are i believe we don't have to change and all are okay then we can go and click on the button called create database so it will take some time to create a database uh, and in between that what we can do is it is, status will change to available then only we can uh, be able to utilize it so in that what we can do is we can go and configure the vpc security groups so that configuration also need to be done to connect it from the outside world uh, so here we need to provide the inbound rules uh, so that uh, it can be able to connect from any devices so ip4 uh, and then the type we have selected the postgres as well and uh, ip6 also we have so we can select and once these configurations are done then yeah uh, we are good to go 
uh, on the security policy side so you can see that this is the whole configuration which is done and uh, then we can go back to the database and to check uh, what is the status so let me click on the rds go back to the database and uh, once it will come out and it will be available go into available mode then uh, we are good to connect so backing up and then available so yeah this available will show that yes we can utilize so we will use this endpoint to connect so let's first connect with a normal client so i'm using pg admin by the postgres itself so provide a name uh, and then connection so endpoint which we have taken and provide the password which we have set for the master password and uh, that's all so if uh, everything is good then it will connect to the uh, database and then it will show all the details so the plc db which we created as an initial db so this is also created now we can go back to the node red and then we can uh, use the postgresql node and then we can configure it so in the configuration also we need to provide the host name as the endpoint url what we had uh, copied we have to provide port and then the database and the security we need to provide username and the password so these are the very basic configurations ssl we will keep it as a false as we are not using ssl and then uh, we need to provide here the query so as we want to insert the data into the process so the query will be insert into the name of the table so the plc data which i have configured and then uh, the column name where it will go the data will go so that has to go under the small bracket and then we can provide the tag and comma value so and then the values so what values we have to insert so we need to provide write here the values and then again uh, provide into the small bracket for the tag we need to provide the tag name and then the value because it will be coming from the global variable so what we can provide here is the three curly braces and then message dot payload so this is the insert query which uh, will allow us to insert the data into the postgres database so this query is done and then we can click on done and we can do the connection between the global ai was because that message payload we need to utilize and then we can deploy okay so let me first bring the debug mode so if any issue is there we can be able to find it so yeah debug mode is connected and deploy it and then we can inject the variable so the value will get injected and once it is injected uh, the data should go okay some error is there so let's first sort out this error into the postgres uh, double click on it okay the inverted comma are okay so this is corrected and this is done so now uh, if you go back to the database here the in the properties uh, the connections is with the aws uh, and then uh, we can go to the plc db and then we have here the tables which is the plc data and if you see the column column is the tag name and value so the when we have injected from there uh, on the node red let's see uh, the data whether it has been published into this database or not so view and edit data so first and that rows so when we do the query so we can see here that all the injection which we done uh, has the value here so in this way we can configure the postgres sql and we can insert the data into it so this way we can configure any type of databases and uh, from the node rate and utilize it for the history part thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one